Welcome. In this tutorial, we are going to explore some basics of stair in Revit and highlight some important settings to customize the stair in Revit. We are going to look on how to add and modify railings, modify the stair structures and supports, and we also look on how to assign materials to different parts of the stair. Now, without any further ado, let's open Revit to get started. Go to New, choose the Architectural Template, then hit OK. Now, let's go to Manage, set the units, both length and distance in centimeters. Let's hit OK and get started. Let's now go to the south elevation. Extend these levels a little bit. Change the, the heights to something like 320. And now let's add more levels. Let us change these bubbles to be on the right side here. And uncheck them on the left side. Now let's go to level one and on the circulation, I'm going to choose there. You can observe the contextual tab here with some aspects are highlighted. On the properties panel, you can actually choose the type of stair that you are going to use. And here on the actions bar, you are able to change the actual width, maybe put 90, but I'm going to leave it on 100 right now. You can change the offset or the location line. You can see the top level is level one here and the desired number of risers is 19 for now. You can see the thread is 25. With this preset, we have the actual rise of 16.8. Now let's go in here and change this value to 17 for instance. Now you see this warning. The riser is greater than the specified height of the stair. We have to keep this balanced and what we are going to do is to actually change change the number of risers back to 18 or we can even change the, the heights of the levels. That depends. Let's change this back to 18. You can see we still have 17.8. This is still big. Let's go to the south elevation. Let's cancel this stair for now. And on the levels, I am going to set the height to 300. I'm going to do it for all the levels. And now if I go back to level one, 
and go to stay again you can now see that with the desired number of 18 now I have 16.6 .6, which has reduced a little bit now with the run highlighted and this is straight method highlighted now I am going to draw a simple stair like this let's preview this one in 3d to see what we have done here click the OK button to finish and let's delete this stair for now let's go to level one and I am going to go to the stair again and uh, this time let's try automatic landing let's now click here and we observe the number of risers we have created and the ones remaining let me click here with eight risers created and now go on the right to create the automatic landing like this you can now see the landing has already been created here this one and we have two flies each one is customizable for instance here you can stretch if you want you can input the dimensions if you want or you can use the arrow keys on your keyboard to kind of readjust the stair I can type in here 220 and this is our stair this landing can also be customized you can stretch it or input the values let me put 100 similar to this one you can do different adjustments but you can see if I do this now the structure of the style is going to change now I'll go back using the undo button and hit OK to finish our stair preview in the 3D and here is our stair let me select this stair then go to edit go to tools and go where it is flip if I click once now the stair is flipped if I click again it turns in its normal position and now finish this and let's see some other settings we can do on the stair we can now add the railing click on the drop down menu and use place on stair you can use treads or string and now I'm going to use treads if I select click the stair now the railings have been added on the treads as you can see here on the 3d let me select the railings and delete them now let me go back to railing place on stair this time let me use string click and now you can see this the railing has been added on the string I will delete it again this time I'm going to use select all instances and use the cross sign
let me select this day again now select levels this time i am going to connect three levels with a system of stair hit co connect levels and when i hit ok now you can see a group of three stairs connected together by levels if i select again go to disconnect now i'm going to select the levels i want to disconnect hit ok and now we remain with one stair if i select the stair and go to edit type we have different parameters here that we can set including the calculation rules for instance the risers height the trade depth minimum run size which can be customizable if we want we can edit this by going to edit type and change some values in here but we are not going to do that for now we are going to actually concentrate on the construction by changing the run type landing type and the function if we want let's go to run type and this dialog box is going to open where we can set the materials by going on this and choose the material and go to the riser material choose the arc flowing and the others are kind of going to remain the same here apply hit ok apply again and now you can see the changes we have made you can see now the both the risers and threads are now wood flooring let's go to edit stay again this time we are going to it's I'm going to uncheck this apply hit ok hit apply again hit ok and now you see the risers the threads has been removed and now we stay with the risers this stays not uh, functional I'm now going to go to edit again and then this time I'm going to activate threads and now I am going to uncheck the risers now hit apply hit ok apply ok and now you see this one has remained with only the threads activated and these types of stairs are possible depending on the materials we chose to use here for instance here we can use the aluminum let's go to edit stairs and look for the type of material to the right support we can actually choose maybe none or on the left support we can choose none hit apply hit ok and again this is not fun a functional stair it's not just a matter of uh, showing what we can do with the stair now let's go back to edit type and check the middle middle support this time I'm going to do to choose the material for this particular type let's choose the material in here apply and now we have the 
the support as you can see and the stair now becomes a little bit functional let's select let's select this stair again go to edit type go down to write support this time I'm going to use carriage open and let's go to the left support choose from none to close the stringer let me uncheck the middle support apply hit ok and now you can see we have two different supports let's go back to edit type again close the stringer apply and now we have similar supports on both sides Let's now go to level one. I'm going to select the stair again. Go to edit type. Now you can see on the graphics we have the zigzag mark, but we can choose we can change it if we want. Here on the cut mark symbol, we can go to the double lines and on the cut mark symbol we choose none and now if we do that apply hit ok now on the flow plan we can see the graphics has changed 